Good morning, everybody. I haven't done a Seftimore Daily in about over a week, so I'm going to do it today for all of you. So, as you can see, as a streamer, as a content producer, we tend to see these things for whatever we are into that the media portrays as bad. So we're looking at Fortnite. People are sending their children to rehab for Fortnite. Now, I am an expert at parenting. I've been doing it for seven weeks. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, when I was little, if there was something that was getting out of control or getting, you know, too much and into, you know, my parents moderated it, made sure. Plus, it was a lot different when I was younger, I'm 33, so it was a little different. We had more of a tendency to go outside. I had a, a neighborhood where people were, we we all went out as soon as we got up and, and hung out. So it was a little different than it is today. And I mean, that's fearful, you know, I, I'm, I'm fearful for, for my child, but it's going to be up to me to make sure that he's doing the right things and that he if it gets to a point where we have to send our children to rehab for a video game, I think a lot of that lies on the parenting. And what pisses me off about the article is that, and a lot of uh, people have said this on, on Twitter, is they're sending people or they're sending their children out to be, to, to, for someone else to deal with them. Now, <clears throat> I know that it's it's tough. These kids like something, this is the thing, this is but as an adult I have noticed my ADD. That's why I I did the the podcast yesterday on reading and how I divide it up and how I need systems. It's because even me with this smartphone, I mean, it, we're we're producing content so we have to be on the smartphone and we have to be using the smartphone to get our content out to everybody but with that comes an addiction I have it it's not super crazy I try to limit what I do but it, it becomes an addiction I've had days where I'm scrolling through Twitter and like I close the app and then reopen it nothing else nothing is that important uh, that's going on on Twitter and I know that I have to get my reading done and I'm just okay well let me open Instagram okay let me open Reddit instead of sitting there and consuming knowledge that will actually help me so I feel that this is something that could be remedied by by, by better parenting by helping your children and wanting to be in their lives I think I think a big thing that's that's going on, and, and I could be totally wrong, and like I said, this is just my opinion, and, and I know parenting is hard, so I, I feel for even the people that are that are doing this, but we, we get to a point where maybe the, maybe, maybe, maybe the parents were putting their children on, on you got to be present with them, because maybe these, children, these parents are putting their children on Fortnite to get some peace of mind or peace of quiet or, or do their own thing and now they have an excuse to send them to a rehab for someone else to deal with them. So what I'm trying to say is that they're sending kids away to have someone else deal with them where maybe that someone else or something else dealing with them was Fortnite because it got them out of their hair for a while. So I just think that's that's people, you know, when when my wife got pregnant a lot of people said, oh, a lot of people came up to me and they said, oh, you're screwed. Get ready. Get ready. I'm like, did you not, did you not know that you were having a kid when you, when you were doing this, that you had a, a chance? Did you, did you not want, did you not want a kid? And it's funny because in my stream, Rui, shout out to Rui, Mixer.com slash Rui. He says, we were busting balls and saying hashtag positive parenting because it seems that everyone you talk to, it's like this this club that, oh, you, you, uh, 
welcome to the club, you're screwed, you know, and it's tough, and, and I, in the seven weeks, like, I tell you on this, on the Seftimore Daily, is that we have a baby that was screaming for 16 hours a day, but we had to be present as, as we can, it was hard, when people asked me, I said, it's, it's, it's awful, it's tough, and I started understanding that a little bit better, but the fact of the matter is that I have to be there, and I have to be a parent, number one, If there was something wrong, I would do everything in my power to make sure that I can be the remedy for my child, that I could do do as much as I can. And like I said, it's tough and and I, I feel for everybody in this situation, but I think there just has to be more positive, more positive parenting out there. Be present with them a little bit more. And like I said, the only reason I'm making this and and saying this type of stuff is because of when I talk to people that are already parents, not not everybody, but some, and they say like, welcome to hell. (laughs) And I'm like, did you not, did you not know what you were doing? Because this is, this is how it is. Yes, it will be hard, but it will also be fulfilling. And that's how it's, it's ending up now. We, we, we went through a bad couple weeks, it was hell, it was tough, and now he's sleeping, things are going well, I should be able to be on stream again shortly because the wife can uh, deal with them while I stream for a little bit because we needed each other, we needed each other, and we needed to help each other through, through through a rough time, but I didn't call my parents or I didn't call a family member and say, take this kid. (laughs) Uh, uh, I I can't deal with it. I dealt with it. We dealt with it as a unit, as a, as a family. And it's ending up being awesome. My mother texted me last night. She said, is the baby sleeping? I said, he's been awesome. Uh, we went out to my grandmother's birthday party yesterday and everyone was so, because my parents saw the, the bad side as well as the good side of him screaming and all that. And my mother was like, he's like, he's like a different baby. So it's, it's working. You just have to be present in the moment. And if the moment sucks, that sucks. That's it. That's what I keep talking about in the, in the Seftimore dailies is that like, I get it too, but everyone's sitting there saying, Oh, why can't I be happy in every moment? Because that ain't fucking life. That ain't how it is. We have to, we have to understand that when pain comes, or the, like I say, the damage comes, how to mitigate that the best way we can. If that's through meditation or breathing exercises or whatever, these people aren't telling you this because it's some, some crap that won't, won't help. They're saying this. You read the, these things, and they sound cliche because they work. So, at the end of the day, like I said, I feel for everybody here, but I feel that we should have these parents, these parents should, should understand what they're doing when they get into this. And they should understand that they are the biggest point of development for their children. And if they need help with something or they need to be, if something needs to be remedied, like an addiction, point number one is the parents. And I just feel that this could be done at home and not through some sort of rehab center. Let me know what you think. Leave something in the comments. Thank you so much for watching if you're on YouTube. Thank you so much for listening if you're on Anchor. Uh, Be forewarned, I did sign up for the Anchor sponsorship, so you might hear an ad or two in in the podcast. So helps me, supports me. I wanted to try it out. So let me know what you think. As always, I'm on Twitter at Seftimore and you can let me know there you can let me know in the comments section I always reply to anybody Instagram DM me DMs are always open other than that have a great weekend enjoy it holidays are here time to be happy for one whole month (laughs) Uh, anchor.fm slash Seftimore for the audio version and Seftimore live on YouTube take care guys thanks for listening and I'll see you again soon